This video is powered by USA Gundam. Visit usagundamstore.com today for all of your gunpla and hobby needs. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel, I'm Gunpla Joey, and today we are going to be taking a look at the newest edition of paints over at USA Gundam, and that is the Sunin 7 paints. And we're actually going to be taking a look at the lacquer paints, and this is the Gundam Colors set, as well as a couple other things that we're going to look at. Now, Sunin 7 actually makes a whole array of paints. Uh, they make enamels, they make acrylics, and they also make lacquers, and of course me being a primary lacquer paint user, this is the one that I was most excited about and this is the one that we're going to be taking a look at today. Uh, we also carry the acrylics over at USA Gundam, so if you wanted to try those out, you can definitely do that. And at a later date, if you would like me to, uh, I can pick those up and try those out as well. But today we're going to be taking a look at this, so with all that said and done, let's get to it. All right, so here we have everything I'm going to be using in this review. Starting on this side, here we have the Surfacer 2000. Now they have a Surfacer 1000 and the difference I believe in this is the 2000 is like the finishing Surfacer. It's really really smooth and the 1000 uh, is going to be more of like the filler Surfacer so I can kind of think it's like a uh, Mr. Hobbies with between like the 500, 1000, and 1500 that the numbers uh, indicate the finish on the Surfacer. But as you can see here, it's 50 milliliters of gray Surfacer. And on across the board, the thinning ratio, the recommended thinning ratio is 1 to 3. So if you keep that in mind, you get a lot of paint out of 60 milliliters. So that's really, really nice because you're gonna get a lot of paint for your buck. Here we have another 60 milliliter bottle and this is the flat clear. And as you can see, the pigmentation on this is really nice. It's a lot like the premium flat from Gaia as far as pigment goes. And next up, we have the Ultimate Black Gloss. And the reason why I got this for the review is I wanted to test out a gloss because as you'll see in this kit here, everything in here is a semi-gloss. So I wanted to test out what a gloss from them is going to be like. And also I have some ideas of using it at a like different PSI or maybe like something finer, like a pre-shade or something like that. So we'll get into that in a little bit. And all of these bottles are 15 milliliters. Next we'll talk about the thinners. As you can probably see, this thinner is empty, and this one has a lot missing out of it, and that's because I've already pre-thinned uh, some things like the black and the other colors I'll be using in this review, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So, the thinners. We have a 50 or 250 milliliter bottle here and a 500 milliliter bottle here, and this is just the regular thinner. I'm not gonna add any retard or anything to it. I just, for the sake of the review, I just want to use the regular thinner and see how it performs. So next we'll take a look at what's actually in this set. Of course, this set being the Gundam model color set with 15 colors in it. So let's take a look. So before we name off every paint that's in here, I just wanted to show off how they're actually packaged in here. I think it's kind of nice that they're actually packaged this way because it keeps them from moving around too much and keeps them in place. Starting off with the reds in the set, we have MS Char Red. MS Char Pink, so we have both Char colors here. MS Sazabi Red, and as you can tell, this is one of the colors I'll be using in the review. This is just MS Red. As for the blues, we have the AEUG's MS Blue. We have the MS Light Blue. And another color I'll be using for the review is just the standard MS Blue. The color set comes with one yellow, and that is MS Yellow, and as you can see, I will be using this color. We also get a purple, this is the MS Purple, and it's a very pretty shade of purple, I really like this. As for the greens, we get MS Green, and we get MS Deep Green, which is just a darker shade, as you can see, of this, so these would be really good uh, Zaku 1 or 2 colors. We get one white, which is the MS White, which I will, as you can see, be using in this review. And finishing things off with the grays, we have Xeon's MS Gray here. The last of the colors I'll be using, which is the MS Phantom Gray. 
And the last of the set, we have UNT's MS Gray Metallic. So later on, I'll probably do a metallic uh, review. But as for this review, I kind of want to keep it basic. So there you go. So here we have all of the colors all thinned out in these really nice 80 milliliter Mr. Hobby glass bottles. I love these things. If you guys want an easy thinning experience and something really nice to store your stuff in, I highly suggest these Mr. Hobby spare bottles. They also come in 40 milliliter. And of course you can get those over at USA Gundam. But here we have all of the colors. And what I want to do is spray some spoons so first we'll start with, of course, the surfacer, then we'll move over to the colors, and then we'll move over to the gloss black. And I want to do two spoons of gloss black so we can use the flat coat on one of the spoons of gloss black to really show that change, to show off that really nice gloss to flat transition. And also I think it's a really good way to show off the quality of the flat clear but you know me that's not where this is going to end uh i don't like to just show off spraying spoons spraying spoons is going to be really good for showing off that solid color but i want to go that step beyond and spray as you can probably see by the color palette a rx78 this is the entry grade rx78 and i think it to show a more real world application it'll be nice to show this being painted with these paints. So here we have the results off of the spoon test and all of these were sprayed at 20 PSI of course and they all sprayed super super smooth. Um, the 1 to 3 ratio in my opinion is kind of the perfect sweet spot for that. Uh, but now I did actually test the colors out at one to two and a half just to experiment a little bit. And here I have a example of that. It's the one to two and a half and it came out really smooth. I mean, there was really virtually no way to tell the difference between the one to two and a half and one to three after it was sprayed it's the feeling of spraying it that was different to me. So it's kind of going to be up to you at your discretion whether or not you want to thin it one to two and a half or one to three. As for me personally, I'm going to stick to one to three because that really felt good spraying it to me. Uh, and of course, this is with the regular thinner. If you were going to be spraying it with the one to or the one to two and a half 
with a leveling thinner, you might actually end up with really great results that way. But for the sake of the, the review, I went with one to three, and that's probably what I'm going to continue spraying these with because it felt so good. Now, moving on to this surfacer here, I'm gonna take a look at this real quick because this is probably one of the smoothest surfacers I've ever seen. Now, the, the name in itself, the 2000 surfacer, I did expect it to be more of a finishing surfacer, and boy, was I right with that because this thing almost shines. It is so smooth of a surfacer that it, it literally has a semi-gloss feel to it, and it's so smooth to touch. This is two passes, so one light pass, one kind of you know wet pass there, and it's completely covered, as you can see, and it's so smooth. I really, really like this surfacer, and like I said before, at a one to three ratio, you get a lot of paint out of this, so it's very, very awesome. Um, kind of curious to see how this stuff works on say resin. So maybe an idea for a future video. Moving on to the colors, the colors over gray still come out very vibrant as you can see. And that's really a testament to the pigmentation of this, especially this yellow. This yellow is two passes over gray and it is still a very vibrant, nice yellow. I mean, it, it kept its color. It's maybe a little darker than it would be over white, but to have a yellow that you can make two passes over gray and get full pigmentation out of, that's really, really nice. Of course, lacquers are known for their pigmentation. The blue and red, of course, came out really, really nice. Uh, I really like that shade of blue. And of course, these do scream, you know, Gundam colors. So that's exactly what this set's supposed to be. So that's a very good thing. The red is actually kind of like a muted red or like a, uh, like a brighter red. And I really like that. And of course the gray being the easiest to get, uh, coverage because of the dark nature of the paint and the white I wanted to talk about as well. As you can see here, the spoon itself is like stark white. This is like a really, really, really light gray, especially if sprayed over top of the gray surfacer. But this is exactly what I look for with a white paint or like a mobile suit white paint for Gundams and stuff because you really want that kind of darker shade of white so that it's not stark white. That way, if you put it in front of a white background, you're not running into the, you know, problem of the mobile suit kind of blending into the background. You want something that's going to stick out and that is what this does perfectly. And of course, nice and smooth, two passes over top of the gray surfacer and this is what you get. Now moving on to talk about the gloss black. Now this did take, or well, I used more than two passes with this. It was like three or four, but as you can see, this is a very impressive gloss black because there's no surfacer on this or there's no <laughs> top coat on this and it comes out super reflective super shiny i mean you can see my reflection in this gloss black and that is exactly what you want with the gloss black it's very very durable and this would be a perfect base for any kind of metallics or anything like that so very impressed with this gloss black and of course, moving on to this really, really, really nice top coat. This flat coat here at one to three, just sprayed on so nice, so smooth. And as you can see in the footage, it just really turned that gloss black into what you see here, which is a very, very, very smooth. I mean, these are smooth, but this is like super <laughs> smooth. I mean, it really feels like velvet. It is so nice. I can't, I can't praise this top coat enough. Honestly, this stuff, this is one of the nicer, one of the nicest flat coats that I have sprayed. And that's me being completely honest. I mean, as you can see here, the, the difference between, you know, the gloss and the flat here, probably at this point, I dare say my favorite flat coat that I have actually sprayed. Uh, and that's saying a lot because there are some really good flat coats out there. I love Guy Notes flat flat coat, um, and of course SMS flat coat and all that. 
but this stuff i mean it just feels so smooth so um yeah 10 out of 10 on that flat coat probably my favorite paint out of this entire set so far that i've tested is the flat but all of these are really really nice so now that we've taken a look at the spoons uh let's get to painting the gundam
And after those quick paint sessions, here we have the final result of spraying the Sunan 7 paints on the Gundam here. And honestly, these paints made this so easy that it was honestly just super fun. So with very little effort, I was able to create a, in my opinion, very good looking little kit here. And I hope that this showed you guys a more real world, um, application of the paint as we are all gunpla hobbyists here so of course we're going to be spraying our gunplas with these paints so i like to you know use this as an example of what these paints are really going to do for you so some final thoughts on the paints I honestly they're fantastic uh the colors were super pigmented the primer is super smooth and that flat coat oh my god that flat coat is probably my new favorite uh, flat coat out of all the ones that I've used and let's not forget that the one to three ratio gives you a ton of paint so you actually get a lot of paint for your money so all in all these paints really did impress me so I suggest going and getting you a bottle and trying them out for yourself all right, guys, that's going to do it for this review on the Sunan 7 lacquer paints and if you guys want to test this paint out for yourself you can head over to usagundamstore.com where we carry a whole range of colors there of Sunan 7. So head over there, pick some up for yourself, and let me know in the comments below how you guys like it. So as always, guys, a like and subscribe would be appreciated if you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.